Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video and I was tagged by Danny from This Is Danny O and she has a great channel on handbags and she was sharing her collection of inspired handbags of essentially bags that are very similar to what, you know, some of the other larger uh, fashion houses might have and wanted to test drive them and decide whether or not it was worth actually getting the actual item or the original item versus the inspired by. And I thought it was a really interesting video concept because sometimes it's true. I think some of us want to test drive certain um, dupes, shall we say, that are inspired by, you know, another fashion house that is known for a particular style bag. And you really want to test drive it and see if it's worth getting the real thing before you actually um, splurge and spend all that money and then decide oh I don't really like it so I think there's something really valuable and in, in kind of doing that for yourself but I also think that what's not discussed enough is that sometimes there are things that are actually better than the actual fashion house version so that's also what I want to highlight here so I have a few things here that are really interesting and I think are worth sharing so let's get started okay so the first thing I'm going to get out of the way is a bag that I've already done a video on. This is the dupe version of the Hermes Kelly Mini. And um, I will link that video up here if you wanna see it. But essentially, there was a time several years back where everyone was talking about the Kelly Mini or Mini Kelly, whatever you wanna call it. And people were obsessing over it. And I really was not particularly intrigued necessarily by the Hermes version but I just wanted to see what the hype was about. <laughs> and that's mainly why I got it. And this does not claim to be an Hermes. This has no labeling of an Hermes, but this was actually purchased by Lillian Bean, which actually do a lot of inspired by bags, but in a really playful way. And they have a lot of different color options here. And I really think this is an adorable bag. I think that there is um, a lot of use for this bag, especially for me. I use it mainly when I go on vacation because I find it to be really easy to pack. It's really small and dinky, and um, it also comes with a crossbody strap, which is super useful, but this is real leather, which I really like. If it was like PU, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But now that I have this bag and I've tried it out for many years, do I have any desire or pull to want to get an Hermes Mini Kelly? The answer is no, because this does everything I would want it to do and I don't really need a brand that says Hermes on here that kind of made it feel any different for me to be honest. I know the quality is obviously different but in terms of me owning it it doesn't change anything for me so um, I'm perfectly happy with this one and it's by Lillian Bean and if you want to check it out I will put a link below. Okay so the next bag I'm going to share with you is inspired by Bottega Veneta but it is not a Bottega bag and I'm glad I don't have the Bottega version. This is another bag that I'm really glad I got a dupe for um, mainly because I wasn't sure how, like I really liked the slouchy feel of this kind of pouch clutch. However, I didn't know how I would feel about just being handheld, although this does come with a strap. Now, this is very loud and very gaudy. I totally get it. Um, but this is a crinkly fake leather bag and it is by H&M. And I got this probably around 2020, maybe 2019. I'm not really sure. This is a fun pouch bag that I use when I go out sometimes mainly in the spring and summer because it just does something to an outfit for me but it's not a frequently used bag so I really like how shiny and gold it is but I also like how crinkled the leather is or the pleather is so that makes it even more fun and interesting so I like it for what it is which is really just a playful going out type of bag I, again I don't need like the label on here to say Bottega for me to enjoy it. So yes, it's inspired by Bottega, um, but I don't need the actual Bottega for me to appreciate it. And so another example of why I think, you know, having inspired by bags is perfectly fine. Um, it's not a replica, obviously, so that's a completely different story. I can have just as much fun with this as I would the real thing, except 
a very, very small fraction of the price. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna break it up a little bit and share with you a pair of shoes that are inspired by Chanel, but they are not Chanel. And these are my Scaroso ballet flats. And obviously you can tell that they are inspired by Chanel because of the black toe cap and the beige body. So this is a mid-range brand of Scaroso and I really love these. In fact, I love these even more than the actual Chanel ballet flats and the reason for that is because I have tried on the ballet flats from Chanel and I find them to be very stiff. I find the footbed to be very, very stiff and it doesn't bend very easily and obviously your foot bends when you walk and it doesn't really move with you. At least it doesn't move with my foot. So I find it really uncomfortable. These, however, are so much better, in my opinion, than the Chanel Ballet Flats. It's got a cushioned footbed. I don't know if you can see that indenting, but, but it is so, so comfortable throughout the entire footbed. The other difference is that the footbed is also not like stiff as a board. It is very comfortable on the foot and it moves with your foot when you're wearing it. So I really, really love these. I love the details of even the bows have this little metal cap on the ends, which I think is a really cute detail. I've worn these quite a bit and they go with every outfit because they are classic but um, the leather is super smooth and just luscious as well. This is way better than the Chanel Ballet Flats in my opinion. It's also a much better price point. It's not super cheap. Again, um, I will link them below if I can find them, but I did have this for a year now and I love these shoes. So this is a really good example of why Getting the name brand or fashion house or whatever is not always better. <laughs> like this is way better. Now, really quickly, going back to handbags, I've already showed this in a previous video on my contemporary handbags. This is a coach handbag that I got in about 2013. And it is a cute shoulder bag with a chain strap that you just wear like this. It is so beautiful. I really, really love the stark white against the tan color. It's so gorgeous. But you may say this reminds you very much of the Louis Vuitton Cousine bag. Now, I'm gonna say that this is not a dupe of the Louis Vuitton Cousine bag, mainly because this came out before the Cousine bag ever did. This, as I said, was 2013. Um, I would call the Cousine bag a dupe of this coach bag if we're gonna go there, but in all seriousness, this came from the actual retail coach store. When I saw this, I was like, this is so beautiful and I loved it. So it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. And I just love it so much because it's a gorgeous piece. The leather is so, there's a toughness to it. There's a very slight grain to it, but still a smoothness to it. And I don't really know how to explain it, but it is probably my favorite coach bag that I've ever seen. So I'm saving this one for last because I'm very much on the fence about what I'm gonna do with this. So this is a teddy bear coat by Zara. It is so beautiful. It's in this gorgeous like burgundy color. It's like a bright burgundy. I don't know if the color is really showing properly on the camera. I've had this for probably six or seven years and I have worn this coat so, so much and I always get a lot of compliments on this coat. I will say every time I wear it, I always get compliments. Um, however, because it's been so worn, <laughs> the lining is destroyed. It's like totally ripped apart. And often when I'm putting on my coat quickly, like I'm putting my arm down the wrong hole and so I'm not wearing it. I mean, look how destroyed this lining is. The lining in the middle is totally ripped. Um, and then again, the armhole on this other side is also ripped in the lining. So this, this coat is destroyed. Um, it's not the warmest coat, and I will say that. It's definitely more like late fall, very early winter type of coat, and it's more of a fashion coat because it doesn't close all the way, and so it exposes a lot of neck area, which I don't really like. Okay, so here's the thing. This is obviously a dupe version of the Max Mara teddy bear coat, and I never 
thought I would ever want a Teddy Bear Max Mara coat because they just seem so big and heavy. But, but, I tried it on uh, a few months ago at a Max Mara store and I was blown away by the quality. It was nothing like I thought it was going to be when I tried it on. It is so lightweight because I always thought the teddy bear coat, because it's so humongous, I always thought it was going to be very heavy and just very overwhelming and too much. When I tried it on, it was like light as a feather for all that coat and all that material and all that shirling. It is so lightweight on your body. So it is not heavyweight at all, which I was so surprised when I tried it on. They come in so many different color varieties and I did try on a couple. I'll show you pictures here. Oh my goodness. And the warmth factor. Okay, so if you don't live in a cold climate, then it's not worth it, obviously. But I do live in a cold climate, so for me, investing in coats is definitely worth it, and investing in warm coats is definitely worth it. So I have been seriously considering getting the Max Mara coat. Um, I would look for it on sale. I'm thinking, I mean, I tried it on, I think in this like hot pink color, which I'm not gonna lie, I really love that. <laughs> and it's very fun. Um, is it practical for all the time? I don't know. And so if I got it in another more practical color, I think I would choose probably the lighter pink because I think it really kind of brightens up my face. I think it complements my skin tone, but also it's not light enough where it's like a white where it will show all this dirt if you got it like even slightly dirty. So that's important to me from a functional standpoint. I don't want to be washing my coats all the time. I think in the case of the teddy bear coat. I am very, very seriously considering the Max Mara teddy bear coat and getting the real thing with real shirling um, because that makes a huge difference in the warmth factor and also just the weight. It's so lightweight, but the price point is what I need to consider because it's very, very expensive. So that's what I'm sort of mulling over right now. And Again, if I found it at the right price, I think I would get it. So anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you today in terms of inspired by handbags or shoes or coats and things like that. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you, Danny, for tagging me in this video. Let me know what you think about inspired by versions of things and do you think they're always lower quality? I think this is a perfect example of sharing with you why inspired by pieces are not always lower quality. I think I think if people have the assumption that inspired by pieces are always subpar, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. And I don't always necessarily think that the money spent on the big fashion house piece is always worth it either, especially depending on how you want to use that piece. So let me know your opinions on that. And let me know what you think about all of these pieces that I shared with you. And if you have any inspired by pieces, like what are the inspired pieces that you're really enjoying and that you don't intend to get the actual fashion house version of. So share with me in the comments what those pieces are. I would love to hear them. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave it the thumbs up. That would really help my small channel out. And also if you wanted to check out any of my other videos, you can do that here. And I will see you next time.